Welcome to the Coding Through Math student experience on the VLE. Here you will find activities that have been created and curated by educators from the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. This project was made possible by funds from the Department of Innovation and Adolescent Learning at the OCDSB. This was an opportunity for educators to build and share resources for the district over the summer to support blended learning. Once you've arrived to this landing page, you can go to the content tab to access all the content that's made available. The first section or unit is our welcome and overview. You will find the introduction of this project and then a progression of the curriculum with explanations of each new term that gets added every year. Um, and as well as an example of what it looks like in Scratch or Scratch Junior. And if you click on the three dots here, you can open it in a new tab and you will get this document fully. So you'll notice there is, for example, the expectation here in grade one, we're talking about sequential events. We explain what sequential means, just to have things happen one after the other. We have an example in Scratch, what that looks like, but also two unplugged examples. So we uh, look at beadwork and elements of dance. It could also be used in music. Um, and so we progress, grade two, now we look at concurrent events. What does that mean to have events happen at the same time? For example, a cat that does a certain um, script and then a zebra that also does its own code at the same time. Going through all the grades, you'll have examples for each one. Some of these relate to activities that are also in our, uh, our activity section. After which you have our document, our sheet, that lists all the documents, all the activities that have been created. Notice that there are quite a few unplugged activities. We also list which other math expectations are related to these activities, or if we have LA, science, or physical ed uh, education links to them as well. So you can look through this list or look through the activities a little lower. Uh, in this section, finally, you have uh, our writing team. Feel free to look at our faces to see who has been worked on, working on this project. And if you'd like to contact us or follow us on Twitter, you can as well. After this section, you have getting started. This is for uh, teachers that might not know how to use the tools. So notice that the I here is set, uh, which means that it is the content is hidden from students. It is just available for teachers. So if you need to get started with Scratch Junior or Scratch, then you have access to how to create accounts for yourself and for your students. There's also Microbit, Sphero, Ozobot, and we will also be adding Bbot and Dash. There is a section with more resources. Uh, so if you're looking for even more activities to do with your class, um, there's quite a few organizations that have provided activities and that can also provide support for you. So feel free to browse through those. After which we have sections from grade one all the way to grade eight. If we open one of these, like grade one, we'll notice that there are unplugged activities and tech activities like Scratch and the Bbot. You can do unplugged activities with absolutely no tech, but if you have access to devices, you can use Scratch Junior. And in this case, if you have a Bbot, then you can go ahead and look at these activities. If we open up unplugged, you'll notice there are multiple activities. Each one has a teacher version or teacher instruction and student instructions. The teacher instruction always has the grade authors, a description, the expectations, and sometimes it, uh, the expectations are for more, more than one grade. Um, so then they will appear also in more than one section. Then we have language consideration, uh, so coding and uh, vocabulary that might need, be needed for the activity, so considering your ELLs. Uh, and then these, the lesson instructions. The lesson instructions uh, contain for the teacher specific instructions for the teacher so they are comfortable uh, doing the lesson. So it might include answers to some of the questions that we're asking or additional instructions for them to, um, to be able to complete the activity. After the instructions, we might have uh, topics like differentiation, um, also a rubric or a checklist. So the, the assessment piece is there. It reflects the expectations that we've outlined at the beginning and also potential extensions as well. In the student section, uh, you will have an explanation, learning goals, uh, the materials that you might need, the instruction specific to the students. So that might be more concise and as well that student rubric 
uh, that they could either make a copy or uh, can be shared with, with the student in a variety of ways. If we go have a look at a grade seven, for example, here we have the Ossobot. In the teacher section, you would have the same type of um, sections. So curriculum expectations, this one is for grade eight and grade seven, so you find the expectations for both grades. Language again. And in the instructions, this is an example where we actually have tutorial videos that were filmed to explain the di different parts uh, that need to be done. So how to activate the robot, for example, or here we have another video on how to do data analysis with, um, with Google Sheets uh, and answers to some of the questions that we might be asking. And at the very end, I just also wanted to show you there are links to the rubric. This opens up uh, a rubric like this where for um, it's a one point rubric. So we have the level three expectations, uh, a section to be writing anything where the student might have exceeded the expectation or write what's missing and what evidence we were using to, um, to notice um, what the student has completed. So either by observation, conversations or the product, either the code or re written report, for example. The first expectation will always be about uh, SEL, so our social emotional learning. The other ones will reflect the coding curriculum, but also other curriculum expectations that might have been touched on either uh, in math or potentially in other subjects as well. Just going back here, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to reach out to us. So go all the way back to our writing team and at any point, if you, like I said, have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Have a great day.